Unsell Episode 7 Fast Food Fight. A Sonic the Hedgehog OC and non can alternate universe fanfic. By me. Fantasy the Hedgehog, aka Pandia Arts. It's been a year now, and Fantasy has turned 19 years old, while her other friends, Tony, has turned 20 years old. 20, and Hazel has turned 18. All three have graduated from Mobian High School and now are waiting for the college that they are they applied to to get would acceptance since others have denied them. It's June 9th on Wednesday when Fancy and her friends decide to go and hang out today even though it's hot outside. They hung out inside for the whole morning in Fancy's room in her aunt's castle. But decided to go out in the afternoon when it cooled down a bit more. All three girls were hanging out in Fancy's room during doing their own thing with either being on the internet and looking at random stuff together, chatting with their friends on Instamobian, or playing one of the fa video games together. Or, or solo that Fancy has on her shelf. She has a huge collection of gaming genres like horror, shooter, platformer, adventure, and some more. With all the ga games together, it would at least be around $2,000 of video games that she has. It looks like it's 75 degrees out, girls. Would you both like us to go outside now since it reached the, the afternoon? I don't mind hanging out inside, but I don't want to be feel like I'm trapped indoors all the time," Hazel said as she looked up from her phone and asked her pals. Sure, I don't mind as long as we get to go do some fun. Yeah, I, sounds like a plan. I was getting a little bored at just relaxing since I would like to eat, get up and walk around before I fall asleep. Tony then chuckled in a friendly manner for a, a bit at the fact that Fantasy was about to fall asleep from boredom. He then pauses the game that he was playing on her, her Xbox One and d turned around from the beanbag he's sitting in to look at Fantasy on her bed sitting. <laughs> Remember that one time back in middle school when we had a sleepover together, all three of us? And watched the TikTok horror compilation and Fantasy then fall, slowly started to fall asleep. That was kind of funny and hilarious. Tony chuckled a bit more. Whereas Fantasy also laughed a bit at the thought of it too. She then explained herself and mentioned the same time. The time where he fell asleep at the high school's badminton girls match. He. <laughs> I do remember that. I only, only fall, fell asleep because I was oh, feeling tired while watching the compilation. And since I move, I seen, uh, since I have seen enough horror movies with the paranormal in it, I mostly expect what they are going to do, be in a show or do next most of the time. I expect, I can't predict every action they do but I do find them fascinating since I feel like learning about aliens is a bit boring to me nowadays however I still enjoy watching them even though oh they don't scare me much let's not forget that time when you fell asleep on the bleachers when we were watching the Batman girls match it was our high school versus and there one, and we were on the bleachers with the other audience members watching as they played too. And somewhere during one of the matches, you fell asleep and almost head butt first hit their student in front of us, and I had to stop you and sit you back up. That was kind of funny too. <laughs> After she said that, this Hazel was about to laugh at the embarrassing moment, and she covered her mouth while her face is facing the ground. And to the side of her phone, Tony's face turned red and said this back to her. <laughs> hey, now, the tor tournament 
game was getting a bit boring more and more to me. That's why I fell asleep. But I'm so glad you caught me, Fancy. <laughs> You're welcome, Tony. Also, I'm very sorry for embarrassing you, by the way, too. I just thought I brought up a funny memory, too. Tony's face then turned to a happy, comfortable, and confident look and told Fancy this. <laughs> it's okay, Fantasy. I did start this in the first place anyway. Hazel then broke the moment of silence between them three and asked the group if they want to go to Dairy King for some ice cream from their, their summer deals. Anyway, are you both ready for us to get three to go outside, hang out for a while, and find something fun to do after we get some ice cream? Definitely. Both uh, Tony and Fancy said, responding to Hazel's question. As both Fancy and Hazel grab their purses and some other supplies, Tony is already waiting for them at Fancy's bedroom door in order to head out, since he's already to get, ready to go. In order, ready to go, since he mostly just has his wallet, phone, and earbuds on him at all times. Tony and Hazel exit the room as Fancy closed her bedroom door behind her own on her on her own on her way out. As they made their way to the front doors of the castle from taking the stairs and through the throne room on the first floor and down the to the front doors, Fancy knows that her auntie Sal is shaking her old enemy's hands as a greeting from both Scourge the Hedgehog and Fiona the Fox. Fancy and her friends were a bit shocked and surprised by this, this since they have learnt, heard some rumors here and there about how they have fought each other with their own groups in the past. With Sally, Acorn ran the Freedom Fires as a leader and princess of her own kingdom, while Scourge the Hedgehog was running his own gang called the Anti-Freedom Fighters group of the original Freedom Fires, but in an evil villainous version. Scourge, Fiona, and Sally saw the three friends stand there surprised as if they weren't expecting to see Scourge or Fiona. Sally then got a bit j nervous from the moment since she thought her niece and her friends already left the castle to go hang out somewhere fun. After a few seconds of standing around in complete silence and looking at each other, Scourge then broke the awkward moment and tried to introduce himself to to Fancy after walking over to her. Hello, I am Scourge. What's your name, ma'am? He said as he reached his hand out to shake Fancy's hand, but she is still processing her mind about the fact of Scourge in their home and why her auntie is having a mean with them both. Scourge just saw this and knew the expression too well since his people in his kingdom gave him and his wife this expression too. His wife Fiona then tapped his shoulder and wanted to attempt to see if Fancy will be comfortable with her or not, since she thought to herself that she might be a bit shy around people that she just met. Hello, I'm Fiona Fox. What is your name? Fancy did the same to Fiona as well too, from where she didn't shake her hand Sally Acorn did saw this and walked over to her niece in, in order to pull her aside for a moment for a quick chat since she knows something is bothering her. Can you give me and my niece a quick second, Scourge, Fiona, Tony, and Hazel? Sure thing. Yes, ma'am. That's both uh, Scourge and Tony. No. Tony saying, Scourge and Tony saying it's your thing, and Fiona and Hazel saying, yes, ma'am. So, yeah. Uh, thanks. Both in Sa both Fantasy and Sally went around the corner in one of the hallways while the four Mobians wait in the lobby to and try to start a conversation with each other. Sally isn't mad or angry with her niece, and she knows that she's a good, she's good at Greeting and introducing herself to people that she meets appropriately, but 
It does feel like if she, if Fancy is not sure about Scourge and Fiona, and isn't sure if she trusts them, as they want. As they went around the corner in the hallway doorway leading to the front entrance, Sally has began to talk about what's bothering Fancy by asking her and reassuring her that she's not in trouble or anything bad, but is worried and concerned about her. Before I ask you what's bothering you, I want you to know that you're not in trouble or anything bad, and I'm not upset or mad with you. I'm just concerned and a bit worried about you. Is there something bothering you, dear? Fancy then took a deep breath and told her auntie what's barring her. <sighs> I'm very sorry about the awkwardness out there, auntie. It's just that I'm not sure if I can trust both Fiona and Scourge since I heard some rumors here and there about the past on their crimes and their evil deeds they did from some of our people and some of the guards in the castle too. I mostly don't go by rumors since I'm not 100% sure if they are true or not since I need to see proof and evidence first. But it just makes them sound like they like extremely dangerous people. I do believe that they have changed but I'm just not if they are 100% uh, sorry. <laughs> I do believe that they have changed, but I'm not just not sure if they 100% did change or not. I just don't know at the moment, and I'm very sorry, Auntie. After Fancy told Sally her issue, she then shook her her head up and down, acknowledging and understanding her niece before speaking. I can assure you that they have changed, Fancy. I know that means Scourge and his wife Fiona have a history of our group own um, groups attacking each other and all. But I have seen some video evidence of them helping out their people and making a good change for their kingdom. People just need time to change and learn from their past mistakes and take responsibility for them is all. Sometimes people change, sometimes they don't, sadly. They can only help themselves and find and get the help that they need then just letting the problem um they have get to a point from where it's out of control and not under control did our little talk help you out a bit and put them in a bare light for you fancy then shook her head up and down with a smile on her face and rep her replying back to her aunt with yes auntie now, before you leave the castle to go hang out with your friends today, I would like you to give a good compliment on both Scourge's and Fiona's racing business sports outfits since they are here to ask that they can advertise in our kingdom along with the community board. We are also going to catch up with the, what we three have been up to with our lives over the years since, while you and your friends are out. Does that sound good and all right? With you my little acorn fancy then made a friendly and happy embarrassed facial expression to her auntie after she called her dad they both did laugh and giggled about it a little sally then pulled fancy into a hug and kissed her on the cheek as fancy did the same back to her auntie as well while hugging her both sally and fancy then went back out to the front door that leads outside fancy gave back both Scourge and Fiona apology from earlier for their awkwardness and compliment on how much she likes and loves their outfit and business outfit slash business suits. Both Scourge and Fiona gave a friendly smile since they understood why she did that, but they also accepted her apology and thanked her for the compliment. They then shook fantasies and her aunt. They then shook Fancy's hand, and her aunt opened the front door for the three girls to go out, hang out in the town. The girls waved by to the adults since while they were making their way to the town. Sally Acorn didn't close the door, and then continued on with her meetings and business with both Scourge and Fiona.
So, uh -oh. <clears throat> as Fancy and her friend, two friends, walk through the kingdom's outside market stands and past a few indoor stores at their local outside mall plaza, they talk about their our friends and what they all have been up to lately since they graduated from high school a year ago while they walk around the plaza and hang out. So, how has everyone's our friends been doing lately? My hair all right. How about you both? Mine are alright and doing better. Or how, what about you, Tony? Mine are alright, I guess, but I'm just hoping one of my broskies at the gym that I met get the help that he needs. Both Fantasy and Hazel then got a bit concerned about after hearing this and didn't ask Tony about why he said that. Uh, why do you say that, Tony? Are you, are they in a bit bad place of their, of their life that they shouldn't be? No, no, not anything addictive or bad at all. It's just that they pulled the a muscle at the gym while working out on one of the workout equipment. He set the bar to a high, heavy set and was doing all right with no problems at first. Later, those he pulled, later he Later, he pulled a muscle on his left uh, arm, and now he has to see a doctor and ma massage therapist, too. Both Fancy and F Hazel comforted their friend after giving him a hug and let him know that his friend is, will be okay. I'm sure, pretty sure, that your friend will be okay, Tony. He just needs to rest up for a while and not push himself too hard. I agree with Hazel. He will be alright and he just needs some rest in order to get back to using his muscles again. I do know that your muscles will also begin to hurt when you work out more, but it's basically normal. Just make sure y'all don't push yourselves too hard when working out. I guess you're both right. Thank you for reassuring me. He didn't hug them back while he was thanking them. The two girls then respond with, You're welcome, Tony. Then they began their walk around the plaza while they continued to talk about each other, talk to each other about their friends. How about you, Hazel? What are you, has your friends been up to? Tony asked Hazel. Hazel then responded to the question. But she's also embarrassed to say what one of her friends slash cousins have been up to. And both Fancy and Hazel and Tony, both Fancy and Tony can tell her facial expression. She then told her best friends about one of her cousins. Well, my cousins are alright and my friends too. But when I was having a long distance video call with them, one of them forgot to turn off their video cam on their end while they were shaving their legs in the bathroom. Both Fancy and Tony cringed at the awkwardness of that happening to Hazel. Fancy didn't ask, was she wearing any clothes or anything when she was in the bathroom shaving her legs hazel also you don't have to talk about it if it's embarrassing and making you uncomfortable talking about it no no it's fine i do need to vent this out get this vent to vent this off my to get this off my chest too since it happened last night she was mostly in her bra and underwear when she was shaving her legs. The most embarrassing part was that she was babysitting her little sister and she wanted to do her makeup next. When she opened the door and saw her older sister shaving her legs. She did got grossed out by it and went to the kitchen trash can to throw up. She had to leave the call, but later she text, but she later texted us saying that her sister is okay, and that she explained to her little sister the reason why she was shaving her legs when she calmed down. 
Her little sister understands her now. Both Tony and Fantasy sighed from the relief that the sisters have understood each other. Hazel didn't ask Fantasy about what her friends have been up to. <laughs> Lately, next too. What about your friends, Fantasy? They have been doing alright lately. I know that Lavi is getting married to his boyfriend in about a year since they got engaged to each other. Gal is becoming a pilot to become to fly planes and airplanes, and my air friends are probably in college now or doing something for their life. With their life. That's good. Also, I can't believe that Lavi and her boyfriend are engaged! They are such a very cute couple together, and I'm so very happy for them. I do want to attend their wedding when it happens. Me too. I always supported them both when they first started dating each other. Me too. I love seeing those two date and staying together too. I have seen them kiss before back in high school a few times here and there, even when they think nobody's paying attention to them. They are such a very cute couple! <laughs> anyway, we are almost to Dairy King. Let's get something to eat before we shop around the plaza and see if we want to buy anything. Buy something. What do you both say? Definitely, bestie. And sure thing. The friends then went up to the, the hill, heading towards the Dairy King to head inside, eat some lunch and probably ice cream, chill and hang out in the cool air and later on go shopping in the outside mall plaza.